Welcome to a lesson on division of whole numbers involving zero, in which we'll use area to help better understand zero divided by a constant, or in this case, zero divided by four, as well as a constant divided by zero, or in this case, four divided by zero. Before we look at these two problems, though, for a quick review, let's consider eight divided by four using area. Eight divided by four is asking, how many fours are there in eight? If we think of this in terms of area, we can ask how many rectangles with an area of four can be used to form a larger rectangle with an area of eight. To show this, let's begin by sketching a one by four rectangle with an area of four. So that would look like this. Again, this rectangle has an area of four square units, and we're asking how many of these rectangles would be used to form a total area of eight square units. We can quickly see if we make two copies of this rectangle, each with an area of four, if we use one, two rectangles, each with an area of four, we obtain a total area of eight square units, which means there are two fours and eight, and therefore eight divided by four equals two. And if eight divided by four equals two, the corresponding multiplication problem would be two times four equals eight, meaning two copies of four or two sets of four equals eight. Now going back to our first example where we had zero divided by four, this is asking how many fours are there in zero? In terms of area, it's asking how many rectangles with an area of four would be used to form an area of zero. So if we begin by sketching, again, a rectangle with an area of four, it would look like this. And the question is, how many of these rectangles would be used to form an area of zero? Well, the answer is, if we use zero rectangles with an area of four, we would have an area of zero. And therefore, zero divided by four does equal zero. Again, meaning there are zero fours in zero. And since zero divided by four equals zero, the corresponding multiplication problem would be zero times four equals zero read in this direction. Meaning zero copies of four equals zero. And in general, we say that zero divided by a non-zero constant is always zero. Now let's take a look at four divided by zero. This is asking how many zeros are there in four? Or thinking of this in terms of area, it's asking how many rectangles with an area of zero can be used to form a total area of four square units? Well, for given a rectangle with an area of zero, we would never be able to form a total area of four. And because of this, we say division by zero is undefined, and therefore four divided by zero is undefined. Again, in terms of area, it's not possible to use a rectangle with an area of zero to form a total area of four. So I hope using area helps better explain division involving zero.